so hi guys i'm sure you are wondering what i'm here to say again i just came to rant because i watched a video just now on facebook and i am so angry because let me just narrate the story to you it's a story of a woman that labored for some days and before laboring for some days she's been she's been um like she's postdated already in the sense that she carried her baby for more than nine months so she she went to the hospital where she was using for atinata and when she got there the doctor told her that she was going to have a cs she left the hospital she went to meet one particular midwife i don't know the midwife gave her castor oil that one gave her blended or cross she was with the midwife for a week nothing happened labor did not progress labor did not even come at all then she went to island maternity like she said in her story and when she got there they told her they were supposed to in they're going to induce her immediately then after inducing her uh then after inducing her she was going to they're going to have an emergency cs if the induction does not work and all that stuff 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 like that the lady was in labor for about three days then after the third day they told her the baby was already dead and um after which the doctor in charge of her said he was no longer interested in her case another doctor took it up and long story but to cut the long story short the baby is alive like they did the emergency cs after when the doctor did not work but the baby is alive the baby was in intensive care unit for a while then he brought the baby back to her and the baby is alive okay so my point now is that this woman is supposed to have had a cesarean section even before like after she after they found out that this baby is postdated labor is not even coming at all just opting for a cs she did she said she didn't opt in for a cs because she had so many people around her that said all sorts of negative things about cs without saying the positive things about it if this lady had she was bleeding before i forget she was bleeding during that time of induction and when they checked her pcv it was already 20 percent this woman could have passed out or she could have died in all in the name of she doesn't want to see us please i just want us to like there's this probably is this african mentality that cs is bad see cs is not bad there's no form of delivery that is that is bad this they're not so i'm not saying cs is an easy way out but if you have to please do the major goal is that you are fine and your baby is fine. Don't let anybody brainwash you with uh, CS is this. And uh, if you do it, you will die. And uh, if you do it, your stomach will not come down in time. Your skinny will not. Like so many rubbish and nonsense. Please. A lot of women are dying as a result of ignorance, as a result of misinformation, as a result of um, not, able to, not being able to get access to proper care. Like that's another thing I want to say. So many people, so many women get traumatized from cesarean section because they feel that their last cesarean section they were not properly taken care of. That this is from the health professionals or the health, yes, the health professionals part. There are so many nurses or there are so many doctors that you don't even want to come in contact with them because if you do, your life will be miserable. So if there's any medical practitioner that will be watching this or any nurse or doctor that will be watching this, whoever you are, you know you're working in the medical setting or in the hospital setting. Please, I'm begging you in the name of God, treat people like you want to be treated. I know that the the, the, um, the country is not is not encouraging. The the salary may not be encouraging. The economy is, you will say the economy is bad. The economy is, this. we are all suffering from it. Everybody is everybody's just trying to, to do their best treat people like you want to be treated you don't want to treat a woman that just had cesarean section badly because that's the way you treat her will definitely stick in her brain and she doesn't want to go through that experience again this person has gone through a major surgery like seven layers of her tummy was open just to get a baby out she's a hero she's she has done a whole lot and you are there to make her feel better you are there to make her feel to make her feel loved, to help her recovery to be easy and smooth. That is why you are there. Not to make that, not not to compound their problem or make it or make it feel worse. I saw a story of a, uh, of another lady that said 
She had cesarean section 11 months ago and she's traumatized. Now she's pregnant with another baby. Can she still have a vagina delivery? Please help health workers, nurses, and doctors. Let us do better. Please let us do better. I know it can be tiring. I know we can get so 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 exhausted trying to try to take care of our patients. But please, if you know you cannot do the job passionately, if you know that you cannot treat people the way you want to be treated. Quit the job. It's not by force. Quit the job. It's better than treating somebody that is in their vulnerable state, treating them badly. It doesn't make any sense at all. The way she was spoken to by that doctor, I'm sure it will never leave her brain. Like, it will keep ringing. Each time she sees doctors now, she feels like, oh, ah, doctors, she, she will generalize it. Please, let's do better. There are still wonderful nurses and there are still wonderful doctors out there. Please, let's, let's do our job well. And plus, let's stop carrying wrong information about what you don't know. Stop saying it. Ask questions instead. And eh, zero section is back. And eh, Kineko is Kineko. Please, vagina delivery, we're not saying it's the best. Zero section, we're not saying it's the best. The cocoa of the matter is that let the mother and the baby be fine. I had a cesarean section by the grace of God. My baby is doing perfectly well. I had a beautiful recovery. I was taking care of like by the most by, by the most wonderful health practitioners so please let us do better and plus people that are asking me that there is anything for my tummy let me just slide it in i didn't use anything you know in fact they said they, they used to press stomach they use hot water to press stomach i did not do it for one day i didn't but perhaps i think because i don't eat so much not because i wish i'm I don't, f I don't want to eat much, but I just don't feel like it. So when I just eat a little, I eat just little, little, little here and there. So not like I'm using anything. So guys, please, let's do better. So what are the things I said? Let's get our information right. Caesarean section is not bad. If you have to do it, please do so that you and your baby will be fine. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.